probably I'm among the youngest CFOs the company ever had. I have been part of, uh, you can say, complete business transformation in my organization, wherein we have, you can say, transformed our sugar business from a loss-making entity to positive EBITDA, that also to the tune of 12-15% kind of levels. I was still thinking whether I should continue leveraging my existing work ex of three and a half years with TCS. I had the inspiration, I got the inspiration from even my peer group in Great Lakes. And uh, if I had the opportunity available, I decided to, you can say that, take that leap of faith of building a career in finance. About 50% of graduates, MBA graduates from India and a few countries abroad as well, leave their first job after campus in less than two years. Right, so what made you stick? You know, I'm sure like right from uh, when you started off, you explored very different things within the finance domain and probably other domains as well, right? But but how important is, you know, having that stability and uh, overcoming things that, you know, may be an obstacle in your journey? In the pursuit of short-term financial gains, how do you ensure that long-term stability is not compromised? Financial gains will come to you. It will not matter, actually, you can say in mid to long term. Maybe you will, you may come across a great opportunity which you see is great as of now and immediately you can say see something is happening. But I think uh, over a mid to long term, the focus should be on, you can say, probably I think equipping, enhancing, honing your skills to the great end, whatever extent you can do. I see the grass is greener on the other side. I think it's very important that you yourself analyze and see that why you really want to make that change. Because uh, one thing is there that in any field, if you want to make a change and at a level that post MBA, I, I would like to change my career from technology to finance then we need to understand that it is not the same learning curve which the people in the who have a background in finance itself you need to grab that opportunity and then work that yes you become a successful guy if uh, organizations are not you can say focused on ESG maybe over a period of time their business will erode it will not be sustainable and then of course the profitability will take you.